welcome back. So let's go. Let's get started. We leave the estate. Ooh, actually, first things first, we hit save. the fact that everyone levels up along with you even though you're not using them. Because I think I closed all of the quest lines that we needed. Oh, it's so sluggish. Well, let's go do the lance meet. We've saved beforehand, so we're not going to have to worry about that. Let's go. There's definitely probably going to be a fight beforehand. Okay. Continue. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the Lands Meet. Now, wouldn't you? You have torn this nation apart to oppose my lord, and never once tried to understand why he is a hero to Ferelden. But do not think you will get past me to desecrate the land's meat itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest once you are gone. Do you mean to talk me into betraying my lord? There are not such words in all language to make that happen, Warden. Now let us end this! To arms, men! Danger. <laughs>
So be it. Weaponry? It is better because it is enchanted. And then, bam. Increase magic. Drain, drain. Okay. We save. Hmm. <gasps> New save. Lands meet chamber. Just to be safe. So we always have that backtrack point. My lords and ladies of the Lanterns, Tian Logain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Eamon. <laughs> But no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? Where is the famous steadfastness of the dwarves? <laughs> How much did it cost the Empress to buy your loyalty? I'm going to talk about the... Three. There are enough refugees in my Benorn now to make that abundantly clear. The South has fallen, Logain. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orlais? The Blight is indeed real, Wolf. But do we need Grey Wardens to fight it? They claim that they alone can end the Blight. Yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And they asked to bring with them four legions of Chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the Chevaliers, can we really expect them to simply return from whence they came? Ooh, which one should we do? You sold Frodin's and slew to a fungible war. You allowed Rodin Rod to imprison and torture innocents. You fled the field at Oscar and left Kaelin to die. Do tell, Dwarf. The whole landsmeet has been quite frantic to hear a tactical analysis of Ostagar delivered by a clown. You goaded him into making that charge. He believed the tales, Warden. He thought your handful of men would turn the tide for him. Strategy and consequences be hanged. What would you have me do? Kalen's was not the only life in my hands. Should I have sacrificed the entire army for his mistake? Do not imagine that you can shame me with Kalen's death. He was Marik's son. My king. No one regrets his loss more than I do. Indeed, do we not owe it to Merrick to see his son on the throne? If he were a true son of Merrick, I would not hesitate to swear fealty to him. But I see nothing of Merrick in this pup. But enough of this. I have a question for you, Warden. What have you done with my daughter? You took my daughter, our queen, by force. Killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? 
Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. This warden has slandered and defamed Ferelden's greatest hero in a bid to put an imposter on Merrick's throne. Did he? Are you certain of that? I know my father. He would never do less than his utmost for the sake of his country. But I needed to know your mind, Warden. You could have proven yourself an ally of Ferelden. It is unfortunate for all of us that you did not. Who here can say that Anora is not fit to rule this land? And who can say that this Alistair is? We know nothing of him, save that he may have royal blood. For five years, Anora has been queen and proven herself worthy of the Theron name. She can lead our people through this crisis, and I can lead her armies. My lords and ladies, our land has been threatened before. It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself! The Warden. I'm with the Warden. Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Wardens. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden. The Western Hills throw their lot in with the Wardens. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I'm with Loghain. Who else could defeat the Blight? Loghain, I'm with you. This bodes ill for us all. The Landsmeet has spoken. Following these Grey Wardens has cost us our king. We must not allow it to cost us our country. I charge Eamon, Alistair, and this Warden with treason. Take these traitors outside to await execution. To arms! We will not be taken without a fight. Okay. Well, I don't give a shit. Why are you running backwards? Ages. Come on.
switch over to you. In the Maker's name, stop! We will have order. Agreed. Let there be no further bloodshed in the Landsmen. Alistair's right to the throne is challenged. His challenger's honor is in doubt. In the past, such disputes were settled by duel. Will the lands meet agree? Yes, if it will avoid further bloodshed. But it must be fought according to tradition, by strength of arms only, in single combat until one party yields. Do you accept the terms? You know, I could have said that. Then let us test the metal of our would-be king. Prepare yourself. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> He's in Kalen's armor. So, there is some of Marek in you after all. Good. Forget Marek. This is for Duncan. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No. When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? He refuses the throne. Everyone here has heard him. I think it's clear then. He abdicates in favor of me. 
I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Inora. Warden, will you help us? Strange. I feel like I'm back at the Abbey, trying not to get chosen last for the sparring team. This wasn't exactly my first choice when we got to Denerim, but... I know what we're up against. I know what's at stake. And after what she's already done, do we really trust her to help us? If that's the price of ending the Blight, it's my duty as a Grey Warden. As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead Ferelda? <laughs> this is where I wake up, usually. <laughs> Fuck the queen! Honora, the landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I would swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. What kind of something? We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. What do you want me to do exactly? Kill her? I can't do that. I guess... Put her in the tower for now. Lock her up. Maybe we can find somewhere to send her. Later. Thank you, Alistair. You show me mercy that I would not have shown you. Very well, then. Guards, take her away. Your Highness, would you address the landsman? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Um... <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. I was getting there. Anyway, the blight, yes. I may be Merrick's son, but I am also a Grey Warden. I took an oath. I swore I would stand and fight the Darkspawn no matter the cost to myself. I can't break that oath just to wear the crown. I have to go with my fellow warden to face the blight. When the blight is over, I'll come back and take up my duties, whatever they are, as king. Until then, I think Al Eamon will have to be my regent. Then I can do Merrick's memory no less honor than you do. I accept. And may the Maker bless your efforts against the Darkspawn. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? Everyone, get ready to march! It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. Okay. Where's this leading us? You made me king. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. Congratulations. Congratulations? Why would you do this to me? How could you? I've done nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. I knew that Arlima wanted this for me, but I never did. I thought for sure that there would be a way out of it. But then you went and put me on the throne yourself. Why? A good thing? Are you serious? I've just 
never thought of myself as a leader. I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How can I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? I guess I don't really have a choice in this now, do I? I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? Good. Then it's settled. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right? <laughs> He's not happy. Um, Constitution? No? Yes. Death blow. All right. Um, I guess we ever save. I, I think that's a fine thing. And let me just delete this one. I'm not going to go back to it. All right. Yes. Indeed, yes. Now, mages. I think I'm just going to play this out. I think. Or do I? We're already 25 minutes in. Champion Templar. Of course. He really does hate us. What gifts do we have? Is that for me? Ooh. Really? Wow. I'm... Wow. And the game's gonna crash, yep. Okay, we're just gonna end it there. God damn it. I knew it. Every single fucking time. I'll see you guys in the next episode. It might it will probably transition to the Awakening DLC soon. Because we're gonna be doing the blight and all that. We'll see. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.